everybody scream. <sighs> Whew. What's up, everybody? Resident Evil Zero. All right, let's go. Uh, Rebecca. Rebecca. Ka -ka. There are faint sounds of footsteps. Excuse me. Pardon. Excuse me. All right. What's going on? It's a sink. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Animal Crossing. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Never played that game. On this stream. I've never played it on this stream. Don't even ask. Got him. Yeah, it took like 20 sticks, and then I crafted it. Oh no, there's so many villagers that I have to put down because of the rabies outbreak. Sucks is, uh, I have no clue what the frick I'm actually doing. Regulations for trainees. Training facility mission. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corps. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, without regard for gender, race, or creed, produce only the best candidates to be the future global leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Training facility. 
guidelines, discipline, obedience, and unity. These three words are the basic principle which govern Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourself to your training and bring honor to yourself and the corporation. James Marcus, Director, Umbrella Corporation, Management Training Facility. Okay, Discipline, Obedience, Unity. You got the regulations. Four score and seven years ago. Now I have to kick them out of the village. I've already paid off my loans, so as you can tell, I'm in the largest house that you can get. Don't be jealous. Yeah, you, it's actually exclusive DLC that you have to buy for um, Animal Crossing. Oh, that's a... Uh... Notice to all staff, this document is very old, much of the writing is illegible. Regular meetings of the vaccine research and infectious agents teams will be held. Both meetings are security level 5 and will be held in the following locations. First floor west operation control room. Meeting room. Uh, second floor southeast. Sorry, making some adjustments meeting room and then the entry code shall be 815 thank you yeah it, it was that pre-order bonus you know uh, came with extra HD graphics where the characters actually have fingers and then um... all right what do I not need I don't need the knives. I I honestly don't feel like I need knives. Um, I do, however, feel I need to. Yeah. I actually have nine ink, thank you very much, and then I have six 
for a grand total of 15. Um, yeah, no, ink, ri ink ribbons, yo. That's how you save in these games. Wait. Okay. I was very confused. Locked from the other side. What about this one? Doors locked. Clock. You've never played Resident Evil? I'm just joking. It's not that surprising. I mean, they uh. They tend to not necessarily gel well with everyone. Pretty good. Uh, this one has been somewhat rough. I'm unfamiliar with it compared to the others. Walk around and step on them, I guess. Thanks. How's that gasoline? For. Oh, what? You don't like the slug noise? Oh, jeez! Oh, you made out slugs! Nobody likes you! Billy Boo! Thanks. Uh, Billy. Uh. Oh my gosh, can I? Go! What? Ah! Should probably not be wasting all my ammo. I can't believe you guys don't like this slug. So realistic. That's totally what slugs sound like all the time. Just scurrying around. Their little slug bodies. Examine. What, you don't like slugs? Making slug noises? Come on. Well, you better get used to it, because there's going to be a lot of slugs. Superheated steam! Can I turn it off by, like, cranking something? No? Okay, cool. Ugh, these clunky freaking controls. Wait, that's a clock. Oh, that's a bunch of bullcrap.
Another shotgun? You know what this means. Drop it. And then pick this one up. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, let's exchange these over to her. Wait. Yep. Well, I think it's special too. I just think the game is trying to uh, keep you from thinking it's special. To where it's like, oh, we're gonna make them not think that all those doors that you just interacted with that say that they have engraving is on clocks above them mean nothing. Oh, nice. Look at that butt. That's a well defined butt right there. How many squats do you think they did? Don't worry, I won't be making them again. <laughs> I promise to not make slug noises for the remainder of this stream. Yeah, definitely at least 20 squats. Maybe even like 30, possibly? Seventy six. Sounds about right. I, I think it's eleven D six squats, and then you can get a boat as defined as that. Ooh, is that a map? Ooh, don't mind if I do. Noise. Oh, is that a Oh, more ink ribbons? Heck yeah! Give me those ink ribbons. Nom 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 nom. I'll go check over there. Yeah. Wow. Is it possibly the crank handle? Oh, I see. Jeez. Actually. No, not all of them. We'll go with 80. Yeah, that seems about right. Actually, um, since I got an open slot because I used the crank thing, we'll take this and we'll inspect it. Microphone. Let's go! 
Yeah. Can I take this candle? Oh, okay. You stay here. Yeah. All right, Billy. Let's use the lift. Grasshopper. Ooh. Oh, no, there's more. No. Ow. Down, boy. Oh, <sighs> Definitely not cicada season. Billy, how's it going over there? You doing all right? Wait, can I pick up this? I can't pick that up, okay. Where the heck am I? Oh, jeez. What's that, a grenade launcher? Holy crap. Was this an angel statue? Yep. Thought so. Water motif. A freaking grenade launcher. This early in the game? I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, is there an alternate door? There we go. Alright, time to get Billy back to the main hall. Which doesn't seem like it should be that hard. Hold on, give me a 
a second. I'm cover Rebecca. Rebecca. Come on. Roger. There's a painting depicting nobility. What do you guys think is going to happen when I uh, put this good statue down? Actually. Oh, snap. That's like a hundred more squats right there. Jeez. Like, oh, man. But honestly, I think the devil has the better butt. Not gonna lie. Wait, what? I don't know. Should I whisper to it? So that means that there has to be wings that go on to assuming each statue respectively, but I'm not sure about that. Alright, nothing bad has ever happened like this. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, actually, I know how to fix this. There we go. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's not friendly. Rebecca. Rebecca. Oh, really? How am I supposed to fight this?
Where are we going? Huh? Where are we at? Huh? Where are you running to? Oh, that's where we're running to. Did I do it? Or did I kill her? <laughs> Rebecca! Ah, oh, it's so big. Are you alright? Yes. Thank you. I did it! I killed... oh. Apparently it's called the Centurion? Oh, it's the fire key! For the Fire Nation. Because they attacked, you know? You stay here. Yeah. No. What? There we go. This way! Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Got it. Hey, it's from like the early 2000s. Okay? And it was a... Uh... It was a primarily... Uh... Japanese published game. Okay? Come some slack. Rebecca. Nope, 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 nope. Can't get us if we're too fast. Is it gone? I think it's gone. Jamie, faster. Oh, they don't have any Sonic emotes on here. <laughs> Joking. Um, fire door, fire door, fire door. I need the fire door. Fire? Is that the best you can do? It's just meme. Bag of meme. Pulsating. Man, playing these games make me want to watch movies again, but the movies are terrible. Like, almost as bad as this game. Alright, okay, so the steam is through there.
dropped him. fire doors. So then we can get rid of the fire key. Because if these games have taught me anything, it's, uh, if you get rid of a key, then it saves you a whole lot of trouble. Um, let's go ahead and save real quick, just so we don't get screwed over. Please don't turn on. Because, like, the first time I ever played this game, uh, I got screwed over on the first boss, and it was like a good hour in. And I just didn't want to deal with it again, honestly. Because it's a. It's, uh, rough times. Oh, it's everyone's favorite hallway! Yeah! Ooh, yeah! Sluggy slugs! Sluggy sluggy slugs! Ooh, is this everybody's favorite bathroom? Ooh, yeah! Sluggy slugs! What, Fade March? You don't like slugs? The sluggy slugs? Okay, where was that fire room? Or door, rather. That's not Is it this door? Yeah, it is. Yes. <clears throat> Got rid of the key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's how I want to be. <gasps> What's going on in this room? Do, do, 
Assistant Director Diary, September 2nd. A useless bunch of tradies as always. Where does headquarters find these idiots? We did get a couple of decent ones though, so can't complain I guess. William and Albert, they might have a future. September 25th. Scholar Will, Practical Al, they really are opposites, and they're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them both. October 7th. Got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry between those two. It's the first time since this training facility was built that Director Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. Well, what orders? Whatever. Orders are orders. I'm going to have them tearing at each other's throats. Thanks for listening, Diary. I'll write to you soon about Billy, the boy from school. Home class. Oh, his long, luscious blonde locks and... Oh, I ran out of paper. Why not push this more? Oh snap! We pushing buttons up in here. Wow! It's amazing. Oh snap! We are pushing buttons up in here. Billy, could you please move? Thank you. I didn't want to go through there. Wait. Yeah, no, I didn't. Wait. Yep, yeah, nope. I wanted to go this way. Alright, 
so if we go down here. in here. stop messing around. Okay, so where was that broken grandfather's clock? Thank you. Don't know why I wasted so much ammo. But hey, now all the birds are dead, I guess. is missing. Darn. Oh, no. No. Move it left. Move it left. I wish, I wish I could make it read twenty one thirteen. appreciate the fact that every single pair of set of steps is no longer forced to be a loading screen like it was on the train at the beginning of this game. That train 
honestly was ruining it for me. Oh, snap! A verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth. The earth swells loyalty to the sun. And the great love, the sun, governs all things. This itself is the keystone, the pointer to glory. All hands cannot open the door to the heaven. Neat. All right. Ooh, shotgun shells. I try. What is this? Oh, microfilm B. Sure. Can I combine them? Oh, jeez. I don't like how they're still twitching. Okay, just to clear of space for now. Handgun ammo. Alright, sweet. Time to watch some microfilm. seats. Okay, zero one. Microfilm image. An image resulting from overlapping microfilm A with microfilm B. Numbers appear on the seats. Conference room. See, I feel like we're making pretty good, um, pretty, pretty good progress this episode around. Like last episode, it was, uh, slow going. It was real slow. 
This time around, I feel like we're actually making some progress. Some sort of headway. He's this one, right? I'll go alone. Okay. Close. Okay. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Love zombies. Investigation unit notes. We are searching the facilities, and it looks like a lot of chemicals survived. Unfortunately, the storage tanks are still all full. We have just started, and there is still a lot we don't know. But it appears that the chemicals can be mixed to produce new substances. The chemicals are scattered all about, not because of, an ac of the accident, more a result of plane mismanagement. 
when we reopen the facilities, we will have to develop a system for dealing with these chemicals. Something is scrolled on the back of these notes. Red plus blue equals sulfuric acid. Green plus red equals So the rook is down in the corner, the other rook is is that a pawn? I'll go check over there. Okay. I guess we'll uh, unlock the sword doors again. Yes, I didn't do enough squats, that's exactly right.
That just sounded like somebody's head exploding.
go. Yeah. Let's regroup. Okay. Not muted. I'm just not muted. Okay. Super concentrated. Here's the room once again. There has to be a way. Oh great, cicadas. Or grasshoppers. Or cockroaches. One of the two. Or three. Or all of them. You never really know. Hey, we're, we're 
all fine here. An observatory. Three fundamental principles of umbrella. like commitment, devotion, and unity. Okay. Great. If I could just thank you. Let's go ahead and save, and then we can call it good for tonight. And then... All right. Well, that was a good hour and a half. Getting somewhere, so. We're on the right track. Definitely move in the right direction. Thank you all for tuning in. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for some more Resident Evil Zero. Hope you all have a good night. And catch you later. <laughs>